Hello everyone, this is Bradford here. Uh, to recap what happened last time on the Dankus. So, uh, Commander Spatula went to Colonia on the uh, Enigma expedition uh, back in January. Uh, but he was having a little bit of trouble uh, leaving there, you know, cause, uh, probably because Fat Ass didn't want to leave the food court. So, you know, Bradford here had to call him on the intergalactic uh, telephone system and uh, give him a little pep talk uh, to get him off his lazy ass uh, to go do his goddamn mission. And I'm, I'm sure he's going to tell you all about his mission. And now, you know, he went and met some, like, shady cult member in a bar. And uh, he has to take a canister somewhere to do a thing. You know, Bradford knows all this because he's been mentioning it in every goddamn episode uh, for the past five episodes. But, uh, you know, what the hell is anyone else going to talk about these days? The royal weddings, uh, new versions of chieftains. Talk about a slow news year. Uh, anyway, uh, here's Spatula, so enjoy the Dankus. And, uh, you know, I'll see you later. Bye. Space. It's big. It's cold. It's as dark as your mama is old. So go the old explorer's freestyles, and a cosmic brap to you all. I was thinking, you know, in this day and age we're lucky to have a map of the galaxy, let alone engineered jump drives to blast past the empty bits so quickly. Yet those early space explorers of the past had not much more than a chair strapped to a gas tank, strapped to a rocket. That's what they had to work with. And yet they charted the stars and brought the seed of humanity into the fallopian tubes of the cosmos, fertilizing the eggs of mankind's destiny and knocking up the future that we now live in today. And now I, Captain Spatula, have cut the umbilical cord of society and I trek outside the womb of Colonia in search of a dark hole to put my science into. But not just any dark hole would do. No, I was on my way to the mother of all black holes. Segi Teresa, with a canister given me by a cult, with only one instruction, under no circumstances was I to open that canister until I reached my destination, and already it's been a long journey. My mind is starting to go a little fuzzy around the edges. Only sense of normality that I get anymore is when I talk to you, ship computer. But I, I don't know why I feel so compelled to update the space diary all the time. I don't, I don't know why I need to keep solving mysteries. I certainly don't know why no one in the history of this galaxy has ever invented a damn autopilot. I mean, we automate everything else in life. Why can't I make a ship fly its damn self while I hang out in my kitchen making sandwiches? Well, that's where the Thrustmaster 9000 comes in. Yes, with this puppy on the stick, I can do 900 light years while taking a nap. And thanks to this handy little app for my suit, it'll alert me anytime we're about to crash into a sun and die. <laughs> but there I go with that space madness again. Okay, Spatula, you're talking to yourself. Okay, well now that I've figured out an autopilot system, all i got to do is spend the time. Uh, let's see, I already finished all the TOS, TNG, DS9, uh, maybe I could watch STD. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Okay, Spatula, you're a creative guy, passing the time should be easy. Y you just have to think of some creative things to do. Oh, oh I know. Oh my god, this is boring. Okay, what else? What else? Oh wait, I know exactly what I need to do to pass the time. This calls for a montage! I bought an asphalt somewhere off the rim I buy a system called Lave. Have you heard about it? I met a hot chick, she asked me if I'd be her imperial slave. Cause I'm not claustrophobic She took me down to the flight deck I asked if she had more than one chair Uh-huh, do you do motor crew? I showed her my ship She said it was a shit ship What was I supposed to say? Now she's my ass ex Go kiss my ass ex I bought an app scout Oh, just to take you out he said I was an explorer you were looking for Looking for I bought a keel back Thought I might win her back She didn't answer my calls Got me a Cobra The Marvel Rover She wouldn't get in the back seat Hold me closer Tried me a drop ship She said to eat shit this girl is pushing me too far So got an ask X to revive but she read the text Something drove me to me, the space she thought I screamed so hard Now she's my ask X Go kiss my ask X I bought an ask X, I thought it guaranteed me sex 
But now it's folding in pieces on the flight deck Now she's my ass, ex Don't kiss my ass, ex I bought an ass down Oh, just to take you out You said I was a new score you were looking for Take the boredom anymore. I just need something to do that's new, something different than before, something with instant gratification. And wait a minute, that cargo canister just moved again. What is even in this thing anyway? You know, I've had this thing in my cargo hold for months now, and I don't even know what it is. Well, except for the fact that it's been jumping around quite a bit lately, and it purrs sometimes. Oh, it's a mystery. But, 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 but I'm not supposed to open it. Hmm. But what if, instead of I opening it, I just happen to smash it really hard? I suppose if it opens itself at this point, I can't be held responsible. Hmm. Brilliant plan, Spatula. You're always good at finding those loopholes. Now, it's time for a workplace health and safety violation. Okay. Oops. Katsooks, I've done it. Now, let's see what secrets you hide. It's empty. Wait, is, is that a note? Yeah, there's a note in here. Let me see what it says. <clears throat> uh, dear Initiate, uh, the conflagrations on a retching uh, saggy Teresa. Um, if the invincible Zulspis uh, didn't kill Yoi, Yoi will know what Yoi Toto next. Invincible space cat? Cat? But the canister was empty. Oh, wait. That's not invincible. That's invisible. Invisible space cat. Oh, my God. I can read! Oh, this is so exciting! I'm, I'm finally literate! What a wonderful discovery! Uh, let me try again. Um, uh, what does this screen say? Uh, warming. Dangus detective. Damn right, Nova. I always knew you had the hots for me. Sensors have detected a life form. Performing biological signature analysis. Stand by. The life form is alive. Its DNA indicates the following species, Felis sylvestris catus, or the domestic cat. It may be contaminated. The best course of action would be to incinerate it. Nova, I know you think I'm a cool cat and all, but uh, I'm certainly not domestic. Hey, wait, what's that loud purring sound in my ear? Ah! It's a ghost cat! Run! Oh my god! Oh my god! Please don't eat me, pussy! Oh, it's gonna eat my face! Okay. Okay. I think I lost it. This isn't good. Uh, Nova! Nova, can you hear me? Yes, Captain Spatula. Good. Uh, can you look up any information in the Galaxypedia on uh, how to beat an invisible space cat? Making checks. Ah, uh, don't keep me waiting, Nova. I'm allergic to cats. I don't want to die on this trip. Come on, what does it say? Schrodinger's cat. A hypothetical experiment in which a cat kept in a closed box can be alive and dead at the same time, as long as nobody lifts the lid to take a look. Of course, I should have known. I heard about these things from a black market dealer back in Quator. I never believed it. You see, sometime in the late 23rd century, a mad scientist put Schrodinger's theory to the test and kept a cat inside of a box long enough that it actually phase shifted into another reality, but only halfway, making it invisible and incredibly deadly, especially to small birds and rodents. He said to look at one meant a 50% chance of death. Now, I was supposed to look in that box at Saggy Teresa and either live or die by the cat. But my loophole to have the box open itself has torn the fabric of space-time. Nova, this is not good. Uh, does the Galaxypedia say how to catch one? If your intention is to prepare it for consumption, purging the atmosphere from the cargo hold would terminate it immediately. Or, a lethal sedative can be administered. No, wait, I don't, I don't want to eat it. You think I would kill a kitty cat? Do I look like the kind of guy that would kill a kitty cat? The meat contains fats and proteins which are edible. The nutritional value is more than adequate. You could prepare four servings of approximately 800 calories each. Oh, you mean like real food? Like not food cartridges? Hmm. Nova, is there anything on there about how to counter that invisibility? There is no more information. 
Okay. Well, time for Plan B, then. Incidentally, Plan B is the flamethrower. Plan B is always the flamethrower. Alright, get out here, little cat. Yep, Spatula's having a barbecue, and you're invited! Oh, no. Everything's on fire. I don't think I thought this through very well. Well, I think I got him. Unfortunately, it seems I also happened to roast the autopilot system. But, at least I managed to kill that monster. I see. Oh no! Navigation zone! Stop it! Cat! Get out of here! We're gonna crash! 